Welcome back. In the last video, we talked about some of the user experience benefits that you get from account abstraction. In this video, I want to talk more specifically about what account abstraction is. I mentioned this idea that we have a key, which most users today think of as their account. This key, more specifically, is referred to as an externally owned account, where you have a private key that unlocks an address on chain. There's another type of account on EVM chains today called a smart contract, which is a fully programmable piece of code that you can deploy on chain. One of these accounts, the externally owned account, can initiate transactions where the other one can more deeply integrate with the smart contract system. AA combines these two types of accounts, the smart contract and the EOA, to be able to get the benefits of both and to unlock new user experiences. To see how this works, let's dive into some more illustrations. So let's cut to the heart of the matter. Account abstraction, what is it? I mentioned this idea that we have two accounts. The first account is going to be your externally owned account, which is a private key public key pair. It can initiate transactions, and for the most part, externally owned accounts are the ones that we use as users on chain today. Then we have the smart contract. A smart contract is a fully programmable piece of code deployed to the blockchain. On the other hand, versus the externally owned account, it cannot initiate transactions. So account abstraction promises to unify these two accounts so that we can get the benefits of both. We can get full programmability and ability to initiate transactions. But more specifically, what are the benefits of these two points? What can we do differently once we have this one unified account? So let's think about the unified account versus an externally owned account today. We get full programmability. What does this mean? We get the ability to respond to contract calls. So you could think of an NFT that asks our account, is it safe to transfer an NFT over to you? There is an already existing standard for this today, but you typically don't see it for user accounts since they're predominantly externally owned accounts. There are more imaginative things that we can do once we have these accounts on chain. So you could imagine something like a subscription flow where a smart contract is allowed to withdraw a certain amount of money out of your account every month, we can have a smart contract that responds and tells this subscription whether or not that is allowed. So the subscription can call into our account and we can respond accordingly. We could also get new validation rules. So if you have a pass key that you want to sign uh, from your phone, for example, you could potentially do this with a different type of cryptography than the one we typically use with externally owned accounts. And this cryptography can be checked on chain inside of your smart contract. Then finally, we can transfer ownership. If you have an externally owned account that's acquired a significant amount of value over the years, you may have found it pretty frustrating to realize that you can't change the security of your, your externally owned account. This is because it's just a private key that unlocks an address on chain. So what that means is you can't change what key is going to unlock that address, right? This is as opposed to a smart contract where we can say we're going to transfer the ownership over to a new owner. That way we don't have to move our assets. And if we have things like soulbound tokens or traits that are acquired against our account, we can change the security of that account um, without having to transfer the assets, right? And if we can't transfer the assets, this gives us a way to change that security. Now, what do we get for the unified account versus a smart contract? So if you had an EOA and a smart contract, a very common use case of this would be like a multi-sig where you have an account that holds some funds and you have an EOA that has to execute something against that account. Each EOA that interacts with the multi-sig account would have to pay some gas to initiate a transaction to say, yes, I want to execute this particular transaction, right? So even though your account on chain may be the one that holds the funds, your EOAs have to hold some gas to be able to initiate these transactions. Another thing that's pretty frustrating about this old way is that you have to manage two addresses. So you have to have an externally owned account that has an address and you have an account on chain that also has an address. Now the new way with a single unified account, you can imagine both of these things being alleviated in the sense that you could pay gas directly from your one account which is going to be an on-chain smart contract account. And you could also just think of that as your primary address. You don't have to manage 
two different addresses. In the previous video, we also talked about having your gas sponsored for you, which is also a really nice benefit of account abstraction, where somebody can sponsor the gas on your behalf, or you could pay for it with like an ERC20 token, some other way of paying for the gas. So there's several proposals for account abstraction today. We're going to be focused on EIP 4337, primarily because what it says here, which is that it's account abstraction without protocol changes. These other three EIPs are great proposals, but they all require changes to the underlying protocol of Ethereum itself, which makes it a little bit harder to move forward with these things. EIP 86, it's interesting to point out that this was actually initially proposed in 2017 by Vitalik. So this has been around for quite a while, this idea of account abstraction, but we've really only seen things pick up steam in the last couple of years, especially with EIP 4337, because we can move forward without having to make changes to the core protocol. So in the next video, we're going to be talking about EIP 4337, and we're going to be talking about all these things that are required in order to make this work. This may seem like a pretty complicated flow to get some of the benefits that we talked about earlier, but here at Alchemy, we built some amazing tools that are going to make this super easy for you. So stay tuned as we talk about all of these concepts and then dive into the tools that can make account abstraction very available to you today.